How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Today I have a whole new personality to talk about. I know you all expect me to talk about Barack Obama. God bless him. I wish him the best. The fact that he doesn't know how to be a president is something I'm not going to bring up on this particular blog. I'll have a new customer here. This guy, Evan Bai. Evan Bai, the senator who just quit the Senate, and everybody says he just quit the Senate because somehow uh, the, uh, he couldn't go along because he's a blue dog Democrat. A blue dog Democrat means that he's not particularly as liberal as, uh, as the actual line of the typical Democratic Party situation, and that somehow he's off base, he's a little too moderate for them, and he's sort of an outsider, and being an outsider, and, and because he is, he couldn't get his kind of bills passed, and he couldn't tolerate the bills that were passing because he doesn't believe in them, he disagrees with them and it's about time that he wouldn't go along with them. He couldn't be a hypocrite and go along with something he doesn't believe in. And that's the story you all believe. That's the story they propagate all over America now that his conscience was disturbing him because he is too, he is too principled to go along with things that he doesn't believe in because it's too far left for him. So a total lie, a tremendous fraud that is taking place throughout America, the whole communication system in this country is telling you one big colossal fraud and everybody's going along with it. This is the biggest lie ever told. This goes down in history together with the whole fraud that Abraham Lincoln was never a president, or Hitler was never a Nazi. What are you going to tell me that this man is not a leftist? He went along and voted for every leftist bill that Barack Obama and every other Democrat wanted. He voted almost practically completely and totally the Democratic Party line. He diverted once or twice for security issues, but on every other issue, he was a total Democrat with a leftist program who went along with every part of those programs while he was claiming he doesn't believe in it, he's against it, and he voted for it. So he's not only a leftist, but he's a leftist hypocrite. And he was pretending he's a moderate when he never was. And people bought the story that he's a moderate because he, he feels comfortable showing off, look how moderate I am. So how come you have a whole party line that's just as liberal as Barack Obama's, except with one or two diversions somewhere? He went along with the stimulus bill, which is the biggest fake in the world, with $800, $900 billion that went nowhere, which was supposed to create all kinds of employment and created nothing but misery all over the country. Everything is 10 times worse than it was before, except for the fact that it cost us 50 times the money. Then he went along with the estate tax. They were trying to cut the estate tax and make an exemption for the estate tax, and he went along with the, with the vote to, to vote against the cut in the estate tax. There's nothing more unfair in the history of the world than the estate tax. Everybody pays taxes all their life, and just because the man passed away, it's not his money. This was his money, and he paid every part of the taxes for this money, and just because he passed away, you're allowed to take his money away from the family? Why? Where does that right come from? It should be unconstitutional, but he went along with it. He went along with this whole national health care program that everybody knows is a farce and a fraud and it already died in Congress because it is a mockery of a bill, and now he claims that he couldn't go along with these bills because it was too far left for him, so why did you vote for it for? Why, why is the whole press taken in by the fraud of this man? He's a liar and a fake, and he's putting out a pretension and a, and a posture that has nothing to do with him. And the, the truth of the matter is he made a whole speech. And came, he loves America, he loves the people, but he doesn't love Congress because Congress, Congress is not working. The problem is Congress is working, and it's working his way, and it's exactly the opposite of what he claims. If it was not working, it would be a great gift to America, and we would have saved the economy and saved the country. You are a fake, a fraud, and a liar, and stop blaming anybody else. It's your fault, and you walked out of there because you're a hypocrite, and you're posturing as a pretension of principle. You're got no principle, you're creating a fake and a fraud for the whole country. Everybody is buying it because the rest of the country must be idiots or they're stupid or it serves their purpose to believe it. I know the difference. You can't fool me and you can't fool anybody else who has any intelligence. So stop lying to the people and put on that fake act in another country.